are precious. You are important. You are what it's all about. You are our great hope for the future. Dr. Ray H. Barton, Jr. is a pioneer of progress for personally talking to thousands of Utah students in his Straight Talk sessions. He and his friend Red Beam, a retired Navy SEAL, told kids about the dangers of smoking and other addictions. Oh, first day they taught me how to smoke. Red died of illnesses related to his addictions, but Dr. Barton still uses his unique style to help students think about their choices. So you've got to lay it on the line and have them see early in life what the drugs, tobacco, alcohol, and so on can do. At 88 and a half years old, Dr. Barton has many passions. Here, sharing two of them, music and family. This duet with daughter Helen. And that old violin he's playing has quite a story to tell. Well, I always loved music. As a little boy, my father brought me home a violin at age nine, I started to practice, and he had found an old broken violin in a mine down in southern Utah. Wanted to know if they wanted it. No, we're going to blow it up, so he brought it home. They had it fixed up, and that's what I've used all these years. I want a girl, just like the girl that married dear old dad, right? Here we go. He uses that same violin and passion to encourage folks working out at the holiday pool to keep active and lively. It makes others feel good, and then you feel good, and everything goes better. <laughs> good, a big hand for yourself. Wonderful, Thanks. That positive attitude helped Dr. Barton turn many small tasks into huge successes, like quadrupling the distribution of the Book of Mormon around the world, and that little choir he put together. He was over in England on a mission for the LDS Church, and. Uh, they wanted to do something kind of special, so they put together a choir with 350 voices, which was the same as the Tabernacle Choir, and they called it the Incomparable Mormon Choir of England. DECA report, recorded uh, several long plane records of it, and it, they talked about crossing the plains of England because they had to rehearse in all these little hamlets and then bring it all together. But uh, who would do that? Dr. Ray H. Barton would. Born of Utah pioneers, he became a prominent Salt Lake City doctor, delivering thousands of babies. He interrupted his practice for stints in the Navy, then the Army, and missions for the LDS Church. Through all that, he and his lovely wife, Helen, raised six healthy and successful children. I'm proudest of my marriage. To think that I <coughs> love that girl. And the more we live together, the more I appreciate her because she was a real woman, but she was always quietly very strong. <laughs> Helen died a few years ago, but her husband keeps their legacy together strong. He's a hero in the family. Life is great. Everything about it is great. If you're positive and optimistic and building, that's the whole secret. It's a wonderful that people can be touched in their hearts to feel strength and encouragement. That's what it's all about. Dr. Ray H. Barton, Jr., a pioneer of progress and an inspiration. <laughs>